Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We become disconnected from nature on a daily basis and we need to change this quickly. And what better than to start with the children? As children become healthier, happier and smarter and more creative when they have a connection to the nature. As we are trying to find ways of uh, restoring our ecosystem, it's important to bring the outdoor education into children's lives. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are here to learn how to plant and instead of wasting the bottles and um, to make the environment dirty, we can just reuse it and, make, and put some seedlings in there and, 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 the, and, the, and, the, and the seedlings can grow and they become trees. Assalamu we have come here today to learn how to plant trees and you see all these trees uh, we, we have planted in, some, in these plastic bottles. Instead of wasting them here to pollute the, the, the world, we can use them here. In this bottle we are going to make use of it to plant our seeds inside. What you need here we have some manure which comes from the animal waste, then we have our sand which is very nutritious and then we have our seeds. Most plants they have seeds that we are normally using to plant so that they grow up to be a tree and we know, we know very well the importance of the tree. So what we are going to do is to take the sand and we mix it with some layers of manure as we are mixing with the sand. We mix together just to make sure that everything is fine. Then we need to put some water. We need to put some water to make the sand soft. Remember these seeds are very dry so they need enough water for them to be able to grow. So you can make a little hole. You make sure that you don't put the seeds very deep because it might take time to come, to come out in the form of shoot. Normally you can put up to three because you're not sure which of the uh, seeds may grow up to be a good one. So we are going to put only three seedlings in this container. We cover it with uh, some soil and then put it somewhere where it can get enough sunshine for it to be able to grow into a seeds. So doing this way we are always taking care of our environment and ensuring that we develop more plants and more trees to cover up the dry areas that we have on the surface of the earth. Before the landscape was covered with healthy vegetation, plants and trees during the rainy seasons, seasonal rivers uh, would give uh, life to the dry lands. We have lost trees, vegetation covers which led to severe environmental degra uh, degradation. Our school does not have enough space to establish a school garden uh, to grow our food. However, we are part of ecosystem restoration camp uh, in which we will be able to restore degraded landscapes. Today we are visiting a food uh, forest farm packed with the productive trees, plants uh, near our base. As you can see down here, we already made the hole that we are going to put in the seed bed. Together with this, we have uh, natural organic manure. We are opting to use this kind of manure to make our soil fertile to give it nutrients that is required and this manure is very very good compared to the fertilizer we buy in the shop because this one is very natural. It does not have any chemicals in it and it composes very easily in the soil. As you can see we already have some roots here which are already absorbing the nutrients and the water from the ground. We have to add some little bit of manure on the ground to give it a good base and then we add some little bit of water just to make the ground a, a little bit softer and then now Mustafa is going to put the seedling in the ground inshallah I know. put it now carefully just put it down carefully now we are going to cover it lightly with the soil don't put too much heavy soil because it's going to have a problem with the, the roots that are already growing the hands-on uh, aspect of gardening, it is very attractive to children. Uh, the real outdoor learning approach uh, builds skills. This helps the children and it impacts positively into the lives of the children. It helps them uh, to be healthy when they are outdoors and as a result they are more healthy physically, they are healthy psychologically. It also helps to improve the kids' understanding and it promotes academic achievement and uh, also it helps to enhance their motivation to learn. Good 